Doctor presents installation video for the iPhone 3G 3GS glass digitizer and LCD replacement. Warning, the information provided in this video is for informational purposes only. iMobile Doctor and associated sites are not responsible for the use or misuse of the content provided in this video. The use of the content and instructions are at your own risk. iMobile Doctor takes no responsibility in the outcome of the service. Opening the case on your phone will avoid the warranty. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to shut down the iPhone and then remove the SIM card with a pin or paper clip. In this example, we're using a tweezers with a needle-like head. Remove the SIM card now. Next, you'll want to remove the two screws on the bottom of the iPhone using a small Phillips screwdriver. Here we are using a suction cup to remove the touchscreen glass assembly. You must lift the glass near the home button. In some cases, the glass may be too shattered to make an airtight seal. In this case, you could put layers of tape over the glass to allow the suction cup to seal properly. Slowly lift up on the glass near the home button. Careful not to lift the earpiece side of the glass because there are three cables connecting the glass assembly to the iPhone. These cables are labeled number 1, 2, and 3. First, disconnect cables 1 and 2. Cable number 3 is a ribbon cable and it's locked in place with a lever arm. Move the lever arm up into the unlocked position. Slowly slide the iPhone glass assembly away from you. In this section, we're going to remove the LCD from the midframe. There are a total of five screws on the sides and one along the back side that needs to be removed. Here we are removing the black adhesive tape that covers up two of the screws. Remove the screws now. The final six screw is located on the back side of the assembly. Remove this screw now. Here we are extracting out the LCD screen. Watch carefully exactly how and where we place the tool to snap out the LCD. Extreme care needs to be taken not to put any pressure or bending force on the LCD because it will crack. There is a small valley between the metal seams. Insert the tool and leverage up. Okay. In this next section, we're going to remove the glass digitizer from the midframe. This involves heating the glass with a hairdryer to soften the adhesive. This will make it much easier to remove the glass.
After the glass is removed, scrape off any adhesive residue from the midframe. You want to make sure that all adhesive is removed from the midframe prior to putting on the new adhesive. Here we're going to mount the new adhesive to the top and bottom of the midframe. Each adhesive piece is unique, so they only go on one way. In this section, we're going to mount the new glass digitizer to the midframe. Start by removing all the protective film from the back side of the glass. Keep the front film in place until the iPhone is ready to be assembled. Next, mount the iPhone glass to the midframe. See how we slide the digitizer cables under the top side of the midframe. Press down in all areas to ensure a good seal. In this section, we're going to mount the LCD back onto the midframe and reinstall the six screws. It's critical that both the glass and the LCD are perfectly clean before assembly. Otherwise, any dust will show up on the screen when the iPhone is used. We're almost done. In this section, we're going to install the glass touchscreen assembly back onto the iPhone base. Connect connectors number 3, 2, and 1 in that order. Connector number 3 is the most difficult to reconnect. The best technique is to bend back cable number 3 to create a better angle of attack for insertion. Slide it into place and don't forget to lock down connector number three. Close the screen and reinstall the last two screws. That's it. We hope you enjoyed our presentation of the iPhone 3G 3GS glass digitizer and LCD replacement.